Commit such a heinous crime, get on a plane and exit to Kenya. Yeah, because uh, you have the because you have the option to exit to Kenya. And, and I'm still curious on how he renounced his citizenship, because renouncing citizenship is not something that you just go do online. And I think that is why most people were saying. There's, most people were saying, like even when you listen to Akina, like Spice FM, most of most of most of those guys were saying the story is not really making sense. Yeah, because you know, you know, these guys wanted. Let's let, let 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 us start there. This guy, it's all over the news. Yeah. Um say America wanted na na stitu. Ameshikwa, amenaswa. So hapa kuna kesi inaendelea. Yeah. So whatever is going on there's a hearing going on trying to establish whether he can be extradited or not. Whatever whatever the process is. So this guy is a high value. Yes, he's a high value suspect. He's very high value. Yeah. But casually lawyer nakuja wanapewa mahali Wanaingia ndani wana wanaenda kuongea he walks out and boards a ma3 eh alafu ma3 hata ukiuliza kuna mtu mmoja alisema sijui alipanda na juu hivi juu mwingine aliana na hivi so the story in itself all of it is not making sense it's not making Hi, sense. arresting the cops okay fine sawa eh that that can still be debated you know mm-hmm. it's just like the, the the explosion that happened in embakasi yeah muna arrest yeah that but, that doesn't make sense but the, the the persons and the people the the persons who are running that illegal yeah eh gas thing wanatembea tu lakini wao chindi wame arrestiwa so they were finally okay you see finally yeah. Yeah. so again it's 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 the, the story itself is not really it's, it's not it's, making it's sense. Not, it's no, not, no, the cops, oh no oh no the cops to be arrested if you are on that duty. is fine but that if is you're on duty and somebody walked out, and somebody walked out of the police station with all you, the surveillance that's supposed but to be think, there, you'd and think then this screening the corner CCTV, you are supposed to be arrested because you you no the cops need to be arrested. What are to say be a pumpata? No, I'm not. I'm, uh, but what I'm saying is, it's like th- these are high value. These are high value career uh, 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 individual, right? Meaning, we say ni targeted, but you're, you're like it's it, it's either lapses the very many loopholes kuna kuna it's like it's it's just not making sense now now, now the, the, that's what i'm saying it's just what, not making sense what, what, and then the very many stories that are coming out yeah like now that one of uh, re, 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 renouncing citizenship yes right mm-hmm. that one we don't even know the yeah. the us hasn't confirmed or denied they are, that they haven't confirmed let us denied. start there so yeah. these persons who are coming out to say that you know there were reports the verification of the reports might was just you know what what Ali yeah. calls WhatsApp news network yeah WhatsApp news networks and and, and one thing people have to be careful about you know like cuz i think this guy you know like fortunately he's not he doesn't seem to be a very smart person because first of all you're being hunted because he was arrested apparently he was arrested in westlands i mm. don't know exactly what he was doing in westlands but we know what happens in westlands Lari daddy we, we likes to party yeah we know what happens in westlands so you you're all over the news you are fugitive. You understand why let me check a club. Yeah, and then yeah. and then unaenda unaenda kwa club. So even even here, I don't think he had a proper plan. I think maybe he did have a plan to kill uh the girlfriend, but I don't think he had a proper plan. He thought that once he's boarded that plane and he's gone, he <laughs> story may issue. Yeah, no one looks for him. Yeah, I I I I think that's what he might have uh he might have thought and that's why you know like I'm interested to know this part of renouncing citizenship where did it uh where exactly did it come from and uh and how was it uh facilitated well, i don't know whether this is just a story that yeah, being i think i think told be, and told i'd be more interested in you know like I, even if i was to question and ask him like okay why take your girlfriend's life so that, that that's uno something was, unless uno, you're in the mind uno. of the killer hey, unless uno, you're in the mind yeah, of a killer you, uno, never you, you are going the, no that's too deep uh, it, you're it going is deep. but you're going yeah. deep, my but friend. still that's too deep. Now no na now no na lately in Kenya kumekuwa na hii issue ya femicide. You know like which I mean I don't know there's been a lot of news stories so sometimes when we're listening from outside here we can't tell whether it's you know like similar stories being overtold or whether this has been a because the women were out protesting um very recently. And they sh- and, and they should be and they should be because the thing is when you cannot feel safe 
where you're supposed to feel safe. Where you cannot feel safe in your own home. When you, you know, when it happened the first time, there was a narrative that, okay, I'm a damn woman. And uh, like it was a transactional thing. It was like these women were selling. But then we started seeing people being murdered in their own homes, people being murdered by their spouses, people being murdered by their relatives. Where, when did it get to a point where, by, as a woman, you wake up and walk away safe? It, it, you should not be living in a country where you're not sure of yourself. You, you, nobody should have that fear every day that you wake up, you're not sure that somebody can just decide to take your life because they feel they can get away with it. Nobody should live like that. And that is why I'm saying this guy has doesn't need to to feel any remorse. Nobody should feel sorry for him because for somebody to actually take somebody, somebody's life, taking, some, taking a life is not something easy. When you get to a point where you've decided that you want to take somebody's life, you are nothing but an animal and worse than an animal because even animals have protocol when they kill. They kill to survive. When an animal becomes rogue and becomes a, a rogue killer, it's chased away from its tribe. So I don't see why, as humans, we should accommodate people who can easily just take another human's life and say we want to listen to them or hear to them or should you take them to court and then live by the sword, die by the sword. You should not be allowed to take a person's life. Simple as that. Now, the, the, the only part where I, I see things differently from Mika is to me, people who commit such crimes, I think to me it's better they are reminded daily for the rest of their lives because you know like uh, a death penalty to me i feel like that's an easy way out you know because yeah. once uh you know like once you make kufa, of course you know like people have different beliefs you know like what happens after you die but then um but, but then to me i feel like that's 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 an easy way out me i'd rather kai ukuleyo life sentence they take you to a maximum security facility they put you on block D where you're sharing a cell where you're sharing a cell with people with uh, nicknames like Medusa and Pukilov who are going to sort you out uh then okay. and you leave the rest, so, you, you leave the rest of your life huko you know like with that but type but of that, uncertainty you know Ali, the thing is this psychologists have come and proven that most people who take lives do enjoy that process of killing because of the power so even later on they don't feel remorse no matter how much you put them it, it, it's their high and that is why you find people become serial killers because they kill that high that they felt when they took a life the first time they feel they can get away with it and then they go to such that high human beings are the chest highs your people who live on top of and so that's what they usually say it's hard to take the first life but after that it's, it becomes easier for somebody even when you're a soldier when you're trained yeah. Your first shot will be hard, but once you do that, it becomes because it, you feel a, feel a, a, a scene of you for you. So I don't want somebody to be sitting in jail and claiming I have 17 lives, I've taken 17 lives, living his life, then people are looking at him. And no, unless you, man, <laughs> honestly, I do not see how I, I can resonate with this. I don't care how much what somebody does to you, especially when it comes to these kinds of passions which involve a relationship. But if it's if it's if, if it gets to a point where you get so mad enough you want to kill somebody, walk away. Even before it gets there, if it becomes so bad that it pisses you all the time, it messes up with you. Walk away. Lidu kwangumu na enda. Yeah. So. Utapo na ukombele. Yeah. So I think it's w- w- one thing that's not easy is to get into the mind of someone, especially who kills a defenseless person. You know, you're killing your girlfriend because I don't know Mekosana or for whatever reason you're killing her. It's very difficult to get into the minds of such people. And clearly, this guy, I strongly believe he. He thought that he was gonna get away with it. I think you know, like he did. He did have plans of going one way. Nalikuwa anataka kutoka kama amearibu, and he felt. And this is someone who's I think above the age of forty, so he's not at a, a young person like that. He knows, he knows a thing or two, you know. But I, st- I strongly feel that he was, he was ignorant about the process and probably did not know the possibilities of extradition, especially in a crime like murder or maybe he thought that no one will be able to tie the murder to him but then you murder someone and then you leave them in a car 
at an airport. That again also just goes to show you the state of mind that that he was in that is just difficult to to contemplate where was the basic structure and which is not